Do you want to, do you want to start with a little song? Do you want to do the song? <laughs> we yeah, can do the song, yeah. yeah. We'll harmonise. Ba 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 Overview and me and Ben have had a little go. Yeah. Um, uh, these guys are pretty new, but but you should get, you should get the hang of it pretty quick. Hopefully, um, we've generated a world. Generate it's just a lovely like world. Sin. It's just it looks yeah. so wonderful. Oh hold on! Oh, I've disconnected. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, wait! I'm coming back. Hang on, Hang on back. Some I'm randoms back. joined wait, the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh sure. No. Can I play with you? Leave. Get out of here. Oh God. <laughs> My city's on someone else's city. <laughs> <laughs> All the wonderful joys. Do you know what though? This game is a lot easier to actually get working with your friends <laughs> yeah. than, uh, than Civ 5, 6, multiplayer, any of them. So we've got four of us here. It's a four player mm -hmm. game. Uh, this is the world. It's pre-generated. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've been plonked down. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I'm Red. I'm Sumeria. I've started here in the hills. And you're mm -hmm. very close to me, Mark. I am. I'm Rome. Uh, I'm Gren. So I'm very close to, to, to Lewis. But we've got some mountains and some water. So I'm hoping that will keep me safe Off yeah. for a while. Off in the distance is Tom. Yep, <laughs> I am on the corner uh, of the map. Over really here. far away, I'm Japan. So I've got a load of bonuses with water stuff, so that should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. I'm surrounded. Ben. And I am the Aztecs. Oh. Aztecs. Up in the north, the north of the map. In the Great Plains. In the Great Desert, where those Aztecs <laughs> <laughs> live. Yep. Classic yeah. Aztecs. It's mm. north to, I'm just saying this is south and this is okay. north. It might yeah. be south different north. for you guys watching at home, I don't know, <laughs> but, but this is how we're going to orientate ourselves. So there's okay. lots of... Remember guys, red, red is for danger. There's lots, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm the I'm I'm the I'm the aggressive Civ, so I oh, good. <laughs> don't worry. Good. I get bonuses for defeating barbarians. Oh well, that's there. Yeah. That, that Which you can there defeat are them. Very few around your world police. So basically, just to explain, this is a world. It's generated with with resources. Mm -hmm. If you build a city, um, you can build cities within two to start within not next to other cities, but mm -hmm. you can build them out. And if you mm -hmm. then expand your cultural borders as well onto these resources, you can get the resources. Yeah, nice. Resources, so it's like growing your borders in the game. Yeah, and the resources are one-time use, but you can use them to build wonders, mm -hmm. which are here. Um, wonders are quite powerful and have, have abilities. Okay. There's also city-states down here that you can trade with. There's also natural wonders that if you put them within your borders, they are very good, and they are an infinite source of that resource. So oh, wow. Grand Mesa is an infinite source of diamonds. So what, like every one of your turns you get a diamond you can, or something no, like that? No, you can spend it oh, and I then see. get it back at the end of your turn. Now, if oh, you want, wow. So that's that's for building wonders. So let's, let's talk about what you can do in your yes. turn. So, mm. Well, You've got these little... five cards, yes. okay, and basically you can choose one of them each turn to mm -hmm. activate. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got Pottery, which lets you build wonders and cities. Mm -hmm. You've got Masonry, that lets you attack. You've got Astrology, which lets you get science. science. You've got Early Empire, which lets you put down borders, like, like this. Your culture. Culture. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you've got Foreign Trade, which lets you send out caravans. Nice. These all start in a different order for each of us, according yeah. to what sieve we are. So my guys are good at building and fighting. Pretty dumb on science. Yeah. Bottom. Yep. Because yeah. one, one is the worst, five is the best. So basically the way this works is that it's, it's, it's on a little card here, one to five. If you use an ability that's on the number, it, it corresponds, it it's more powerful. Yeah. And so you take them off, take, so and imagine on the first down. turn, if I wanted to say, okay, I'm gonna build a city for my first mm -hmm. go, this all shifts up but it's more powerful. So it lets me build on a more difficult piece of terrain, okay. um, corresponding to these numbers. Mm -hmm. So if I want to build a city on a mountain, I have to trigger this on a five. Okay. Um, if I want to build it on a, on, a, on a low ground, I can just do it on a one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously cities on mountains are more, more powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, their defense rating is equal to twice the, t the terrain yeah. they're on. So yeah. it is relevant if you've got borders, border cities, yeah. to put them on a hill mm -hmm. or, or a mountain right. ideally. And if you use a card of a lower value, only up to that value shifts, isn't it? So like if yeah. I use a three, yeah. then only one to three shift along, whereas four and five would remain the same Absolutely. options. Okay. So cool. I, I think we should just get started we and see what happens. Um, yeah. If you've got any questions as we go, let me know. Yeah. yeah, I'm the guy in charge of the Barbarians, which apparently makes me first player. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Um, right. Yeah. When do the barbarians actually activate? So they I want to be in charge of the barbarians. <laughs> I, I also would like to go first. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> first. I, think I you, actually I don't. Think I don't want to be. Start because, oh. you reckon? Because we, we've had a little go of this before, so he should get a little small advantage. So me and Tom get a small advantage. Maybe you should watch our And also tracks. then you can ask questions. Okay. Okay. I'll right. be in charge of the barbarians. Then. Are you sure? Yeah. Like, I honestly don't mind. Go like, for I it. was making a glib remark. No, no. You should definitely do it. You sure? So yeah. For example, so you've also got pottery at five. Yeah, at five. Which so is you can choose whether to build a city or a wonder, wonder. actually on this card. But we're not going to have any resources to build wonders yet, so we've got to start building those well, up. Well, the resources right? cost mm -hmm. have costs on their cards. Oh, right? okay. So, so for example, these Petra cost seven, or Stone Age. These are the basic wonders. There's right, one of okay. each type. Underneath are the more advanced wonders. Oh, right. Okay. So you so, start building them up. Oh, that's kind of cool. I right. like that. So as you can see, some of these have resource costs, mm -hmm. and that makes the wonder too cheaper. Okay. Okay. So this. The, the oracle has cost eight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you built pottery on five, you'd only get five out of it. Okay. So then you need a resource to get it to, to seven. Seven, and then, and then you need trade good or a second or resource. To so be able to the get other up. thing you can get is trade goods. If you send these little caravan fellas out to mm -hmm. city states or to other people's cities, mm -hmm. you can get um, little crates of trade goods and you can place those on your cards accordingly. Okay. And you also get to do some diplomacy stuff as well, which we can go into if, when we get to that, I guess. Yes. Like we can sort of go. Well, I think what I'm going to do. Is I think we should dive in and yeah. Just I'm, I'm gonna go with pottery, and I wanna because I know what Civ's like. I wanna kind of create the initial. I wanna create the borders. <laughs> I wanna make sure that everybody knows what's going on. So I'm gonna build a city, and it says mm -hmm. that I can build one city on a legal space of this slot's terrain or lower. It's five, so I can build it on any on any terrain mm -hmm. within yep. two spaces. Yeah. So I and I wanna I wanna knock out this barb camp oh, right here. Um, can I do this? No, no. The, 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 <laughs> this symbol is the camp. So I have to this wait until that moves off or oh, kill it. Or kill it. Could you mm. um, put it on that mountain there? No, because it's next oh. to a city resource, isn't it? So yeah, you I can't could... build next to another city. And I don't city. want to go too far. I don't want to. I don't want to upset Lewis. I don't want to. I don't want to cause problems. Well, I if you cause did rifts. expand onto this mountain here, the danger yeah. is that barbarian might could move then take into it your straight city away. and okay. take it. You know, you've got an unprotected uh. settler there, Mark. Okay. <laughs> you don't well, want to send an unescorted settler out. That's turn one of the no, game. Yeah, <laughs> He's moving his He's capital. Has someone well, I thought that if I could just kill it by putting a city down, I'd be safe. But okay, so I've got to wait until it, it moves then off. build on its camp. And then how do I kill them? Uh, with your military card. So which is the masonry. And then what's that? So I can perform up to a certain number of attacks, and then what? Do I roll dice so, and stuff so, like that? So basically the way it works is you can attack twice, because yep. it says on and the card be you can attack strength three. three power. Okay. So you'd roll a dice and add your power of three. And, then, and what's the barbarian's defense? It's equal to the terrain he's in. So because he's in woods, he's a three. He's a three as well. So it'd be an even thing. So no, no, because no, only the attacker rolls the dice. Oh. So you have to beat the fixed value of three with your mm. three plus a dice. So, you're so I would, literally couldn't fail. Yeah, I couldn't fail it, and that will stop him from spawning things, mm -hmm. and then maybe coming and causing me problems later on. Yeah, but who knows? There's other barbs down there too. Yeah, yeah. there is other barbs down there. Bear uh, in mind, Lewis gets resources for killing barbs. So if you can, I like killing. If barbs. you can kill those barbs and build a settler on the. Camp. Don't put pressure on me, Ben. I don't want to upset the bear. Okay, I want to. I want to keep good relations going with the mighty Sumerians. I mean, you're a tiny little pond away from him. That's yeah. your side of the pond. I am gonna. I am gonna take care of these barbs because I'm worried. I, I'm always worried about barbs, so I'm gonna use my masonry. Stab them. So I roll a dice. I'm gonna get one. We but know that that's gonna work. To kill them. So that moves up like that. Killing barbarians earns you a trade goods. Oh, okay, great. Nice. So and I get, you can put it wherever you want. Oh. So that will make one of your actions tough. You can invest it in okay. science. Or... I'm gonna I'm gonna follow Lewis's. He gave me one piece of advice, which is to put it on <laughs> early empire, because then you get to build more Spread culture spaces. Culture quicker. So yeah, so I'm gonna do that. It's a good one, I think. Okay. And that's your turn. So that's that's gonna be me. Okay. Like, I'm gonna um, take it. You know, I've sent me slinger out. I've killed that camp. No, no, no. We haven't killed the camp. We killed the barbarian. Okay, I've killed the bar camp. barbarian. Yeah, I've killed mm -hmm. that that little barbarian scout or whatever. Yes. Mm -hmm. and so how often does this barb camp change? Um, uh, just before Mark's turn. Right. Okay. Okay. So, so we all get a turn, and then we shift the barb counter along. Okay. Nice. So my city is basically surrounded by water and these two tiles, and I've got mm. culture at the very highest. So I can play my early empire card yep. on mountain and place two control tokens here and here. Mm -hmm. uh, so the control tokens are so these. Start, yep. Yep. So the ones with the circle are like military reinforced, the ones without the circle are just like regular culture. So that's the And then your masonry yeah. reinforces the number of control tokens up to that slot, right? Yeah, I'm so starting bunch, to get of, it bunch of these cards do Two things. Yeah. So you can either build city or wonder. Yeah. You can either attack or reinforce culture yep. to build little forts. Or that's that's really those it. are the main ones, and then yeah. the rest of them have fixed things that they do. Yeah. Increases science, okay. and so Perfect. what the science does is that lets you upgrade your 
base five abilities yeah. to, get, okay. better. to so get better. For example, rank two of the caravans lets mm -hmm. you have two caravans. Okay. And, yeah, and nice. lets them move a bit faster. Okay, that makes sense. So it's quite useful. Uh, cool. So, so now I've expanded my border. Yeah. I've got cards here that say two spaces of a friendly... So those border tiles are friendly, they're your territory. So, so I count. can now expand my reach of yeah. those two spaces you from can settle, nice. okay. settle or attack two spaces from those tokens. So you can attack that barb now if you wanted to from your... From uh, well, next turn, yeah. yeah. Um, also, my city is completely surrounded by... Yeah, so if all the land tiles around your city have your own tokens on them, what? your city is now counted as mature. Right. Which means... Um, when the, it's all grown up. It, it generates trade goods every few turns. Okay. And it can now send caravans out. Oh, so you can't send caravans until, until it's mature. mature. Yeah. yeah. Apart from me, who I can do it even if it's not mature. Ah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna culture as well. Even though it's only my little twosie. Mm -hmm. Little twosie doozies. So that goes to the bottom, that goes up. You wanna get those tiles out. And I wanna spread out. Oh, I wanna, you wanna get that. You wanna resource. get that oil. I can't because it's desert. It's too oh, high. I can only go up to hills or hills grass. Or grass. Right. So, um, there we go. Yeah. So you need to fully surround your city in order to get those bonus trade goods. Mm. Mm -hmm. Which is easier for you because you've only got two land two tiles. Land I've got yeah. four. I'll yeah. tell you now, my I've plan is thing. I want to settle up here ah. to take Mount Everest and oh. the Mercury. Okay. Yeah, so so I'm, I'm going to spread out and then... Oh, you're going to go... You're, gonna, you're picking a city location. Mm. That's I really see. smart. It's playing see. classic Ben Siv. Fast expands. Fast expands. Nice. See, I can put a city down straight away. Yeah. Um, and I think yeah, I will do. I yeah, think I'll sense. put it on this mountain here. Um, because I can, because it costs five, so I might as well put it down. I can mm. only build two tiles away, so I will have to build there. Mm -hmm. And that will hopefully secure me that resource next time. Okay, cool. that's my go. And then at the start of Mark's go, the barbarians, barbarians move. move. So we just roll a dice to see which direction they go. Um, oh, hang on. Put that in there. Oop. So he goes this way, that's bad for me. Oh, it's so <laughs> um, This guy goes uh, six, which is that way. So it's completely random. It's completely so yeah, it's like, random. like classic barbs, isn't it? Um, they have no AI no, at all. go away! And... Oop. So it was a one of six chance that it could have attacked Mark's city then. Yeah, if there's a, it, but there's a chance, um, if there's directions they can't go, then they like bounce back. Um, so I, don't, I can't remember where it was. Oh, it was here. It was here, yeah. Yeah, it would have been a one in six chance. There you um, go. Cool. That's Barbarians. That is Barbarians. And now it's Mark's game. Okay. You're back. So now it's my go. So now I'm going to follow through with my plan, which is to pottery and then build my city here. You know, we're looking over each other, this grassy plain, two cities in the mountains, mm. staring at each other. I love it. Longingly. You Long. can take control of that resource there, marble. Uh, if, can, once I start doing culture, culture which is yeah. going to be the next thing I do, because I get to put more uh, down. Yeah, you get to put more mountains as yeah. well next turn. Yeah, exactly. Oh crap, so you're going to get two resources next turn. Oh, I can actually put three control tokens down, so I can because i got my trade good on there. Whoa, very nice. So, But I'm probably going to get killed by barbarians. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I would like to do my astrology, actually. Of course, you grab five. So I grab five science points. Science boys. And so you does that mean? Yeah. Um, and you put it, set it to five, and anything you go up to, two, you get. Three, so four, five. Oh, so you get. Oh, I've got a tier two. You get so, a tier two tech. In that yeah. case, oh, nice. take your turns while I read these. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. My turn. I'm going to build my city. Get that Tr -tr 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 -tr. city down. Get that up. Mount Everest. Um, oh. Nice. Let's do uh, a tech as well. I'll take I'll take a tech. Take the tech. So, yeah. and that will move move me right. up to then the, it's, first, um, the first tier. Bob face says you generate trade goods now if you have mature cities. So, so Tom, Tom, you get to grab you get a trade one, good. Oh. one crate. Nice. And you get to put that on any of one of these, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just makes that that action more powerful. Okay. Nice. Mark's go. Okay. One thing we didn't talk about as well is like the victory conditions. So I'm going to do what I said, which is I'm going to um, do early empire, and I get to put down three of my. Tokens, but there's loads of different victory conditions, right? And we draw those. Yeah, at the so start. these are randomized. Um, so I can and win. now there's two ways to you win the game by completing all three victory conditions. The first to do it wins. Um, each victory condition has two ways of doing it. So for this one, you can have five mature cities or two natural wonders, and you get that one. Um, you could have eight regular cities and two economic wonders, mm -hmm. or max out your tech tree or build two tech wonders. Okay. So, these three, so when I complete one of these, I'll go, bam, I've got the tech thing. And, and then, then when you've I get scored a point, and you can't take you can't those away. That. So you if I did it. this, but then lost my tech wonders, yeah. it's too late, I've already banked it. You've already banked it, yeah. nice. Okay, so I've done, so because I had a, a token, I got to put down three mm -hmm. culture things, which I've done. They were on mountains, so I've done that now. So it's time to go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna open. use at tier um, And I just four. guess I get these resources, right, Ben? Yeah. These just sit here. And they're, and they're one use. When you spend yeah. them, you spend them. So you've just mined them from the earth. 
Mind them. And they're all gone now. We dug too deep to um, the deep. earth. Mind them. Tier four, I'm going to use currency, which is my tier two trade. Mm -hmm. And I've got two of these caravans. Two caravans. So I can move them four spaces now, mm -hmm. uh, matching this slot's terrain or lower. There's a mountain there, but two. because I'm Japan, uh, they only count three. as tier three. Uh, so I can move these, I suppose, four spaces, both of them at the same time? Yeah, or you can send them in different directions, it's up to you. All right, well, I have one there. I'll do the same for him as well. Cool. So, so they stay on the board, and then eventually, as you keep activating that card, when they get to a city-state or another player, you can cash them in for... Yeah. Oh, sorry, I had a cargo on this as well, or a trade thing on here, so they actually get an extra movement. Oh, cool. Uh, so I'll do that as well. So do they have to go to the city and back? No, or do just, they when just they get want... there, they, they cash in. Nice. nice. I'm going to attack those barbarians before they run amok. They, I have a attack of five, because I saved it up to five. They have a defense of five, because they're on the mountains. Mm -hmm. um, and I roll a dice and add five, and if I beat five, I kill them. Which I do. Stab, could you check my air trade good? Yes. It's Luis. Um, and then, because oh. I'm Aztecs, oh. Um, oh. if I won a... Oh no, hold on, I get a second attack. Which I will use to attack Buenos Aires. <gasps> Whoa! You warmonger! Yeah. I'm sending trade to those guys. Well, you can <laughs> well, send it to me instead, don't worry. Um, <laughs> You've also got this one here. Yeah, yeah. Carthage. So what happens now is I've got attack of five again, because I saved we'll up to level here. five. Yep. Um, the city-states always have a defense of eight. Okay. That's just the default city-state. So strength. you get a dice. So I get a dice, and um, I'm going to spend my trade good to add one. To my to my value. Okay, so that so, you spend it like outright, right? Yeah, you when trade when you use a trade good, it's spent. Oh, okay. So like when I used it oh, yeah. for my early Yours empire, that, that's gone. Okay. So I'm gonna roll a dice and add six. Ooh, seven, eight. It's equal. I can't remember what happens on equals. <laughs> um I might lose that fight. Oh, the defender wins ties. Oh no. But you you don't spend your trade goods until you see the result. Okay. Oh. So what I can do is I can roll the dice and go, I rolled a five plus two, I rolled a seven. Yeah. He's got an eight. Defender's going to win a tie. The defender's going to win a tie. There's no point in me spending my trade. So you don't okay. commit your troops fully. It's like, we've yeah. tested their defences. We can break through with some extra <laughs> crates of sardines. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just one last push. Quickly. Um, okay, so that, okay, so I, my, my uh, Civ unique rule is if I won at least one combat, mm -hmm. um, when I use combat, I can swap any two cards on the focus roll. Oh, wow. That's, so, that's super good. It's super good. So I'm going to swap trade and early empire over. Well, I'm going to do an attack as well. I don't have very many legal targets other than... No! Your city. Lewis, why? <laughs> why? Why do this, you do this This is your thing? helm's deep in the valley. Yeah. Except it's, it's, not, it's not super well defended. So you have a Well, defensive... I've got, but don't, do I... Oh, it's not, they're not reinforced, they're not reinforced. do they? If, oh. if these were reinforced, you'd have plus three defense. Fuck. So, yeah, so it's got no defense. So can I attack, like, these points? You can, yeah. So I want to do my two attacks, I guess, this point and this city. Yeah. Um, so... So I just lose Oh, wait, 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 we compare okay. their stats. So, yeah. your defense mark is equal to the terrain you're in. So... And cities double their defense. So that's okay, five so and that's five six. and six. Yeah. And Lewis, you were on five. I was on five. You? Okay. So I'm automatically getting... Five. So yep. you automatically defeat the culture of the mountains. Yeah. But that, and you'd automatically well, defeat the city as well. He's no, yeah, if Lewis rolls a one. Oh, okay. It would tie, be a tie and, and then I'll win. win. Wouldn't that be an automatic win on that? Oh! 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 Uh, Lewis has strength five plus the, the dice. early oh, war see. doesn't work. No. no. Both cities have held off. So what happens? So we what, should have waited until crossbows, Lewis. So nothing, <laughs> nothing happens. He just loses. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. So I just fend him off. I'm like, go away! You lost, you lost your control of the mountains, so but you, you hold the city. So you've got the barb move now. Oh, oh yeah, barb yeah. move. Barb, yeah, 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 yeah. Barb, barb. Wow, they were not good the dice rolls. The barbs have moved. We, we, we dropped bad dice rolls on our combat. But that's the mm. game. You know, it's, sometimes game. you just get unlucky. That is the we just, game. We just, I, just, um, didn't, I thought there was a barb camp there, that's right. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> so I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I went there used to be, like Lee just went out said, thinking there was a barb camp. We just brought a small force. We're like yelling over at you, like, we're not pissed off, we're not barbarians. Well, you sound like barbarians. Oh, well, we'll see. Well, I think... You're going to respond in kind? The thing is, is, I've got these barbs here, and if they bump into uh, my we'll culture points that. that aren't reinforced, they'll just kill them instantly. Mm -hmm. If I reinforce them, they flip them back to their unreinforced side, that's right? right. So the problem is, is either I can try and kill the barbs, which um, I probably can do quite easily because they're defensive two, two, and I'd be attacking with strength three. Yes, you didn't. So I'd instantly barbs. kill them. But then the second attack is pretty much wasted. Unless you use it on 
Well, you can't. If I, I physically no can't hurt him. Yeah. But then the next turn, Lewis could potentially just attack me again, and this well, time. Well, he's down to strength one. He's got to charge. Oh, up that's true. He's got to charge it up again. So in that case, yeah, I think I'm going to have to try and defeat these barbs because otherwise, I'm going to keep getting screwed over. So, so I'm pretty much just going to kill those yeah, straight away. Fail, aren't really. You definitely yeah. get him. You got to trade, trade good. And then I'm going to put that trade good then... on. One of them. <laughs> I'm trying to decide. You're thinking more military or, or building a wonder more. Yeah. Well, they've got the resources to, for the wonder building. That's true. But then, yeah, I don't know. Well, you ever think of yeah. So you've, got, got, you've yeah. got a diamond and a marble. I've got a diamond and a marble, because I have two there. So I can't actually use masonry because I can't, well, I can reinforce these, but. It would be overkill. It would be overkill. I, I mean, it would attack. make sure that your capital is very safe. I could only attack him, but I don't really need to yet. So I'm going to use pottery mm -hmm. on tier four to build a city and it's going to go right here, two tiles away from my friendly okay. place. Cool. Uh, so that's pottery for me. Okay. I'm done. That's me. I'm going to early empire. Yeah, I'm going that, to build some culture. The cultural push I had from beating up the barbarians has inspired my men to claim Kilimanjaro. Wow. I will do the same, claiming the Grand Mesa. And oh, isn't that the guy from the Game of Thrones? Oh, I'm to put him well there. What? Yeah. The Grand Mesa. <laughs> isn't he from Game of Thrones? <laughs> um, Grand Mesa Tyrell. Bob, is it the oh, Bob yeah, dial? Bob time. So Bob's going to respawn if, um, they're, if they're allowed oh, to. So, so where does Gio go? Gio goes here. And um, I... He's dead. He's dead. He's under here, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. So that's it. That's the respawn. So I'm going to do my foreign trade, uh, which is on five. <laughs> Um, Don't forget that's on the floor. What happens if I send a trade caravan to a city-state, Ben? You gain two um, trade goods onto the card that matches that city-state. So this is a production So I get two on pottery. Two yeah. on pottery. And you get their special card. So which city is that? So I got Brussels, and it says, when you're building a wonder, reduce its cost by one for each of your mature cities. I don't have any mature cities yet, so... But that will help, for, but that will oh help God, in, that will in the really thing. Help, yeah. In the late game. Mm. Mm. That's fantastic. So masonry, I attack with that, so mm -hmm. that's... Definitely killed. Definitely killed, yeah. Barbarians um, in open ground. I yeah, get this one, <laughs> and I may as well upgrade my early empire. Yeah, oh, that would make sense. So that's one, two, three, four, five away. I'm actually going to upgrade my current oh, my nice. currency. Yeah, he's going for that trade. Oh, okay. I, better, I better kill him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, shit, yeah, yeah I forgot about that. No, I've still got to charge up my, my masonry, haven't I? Yeah. yeah. Um, I've traded with uh, Buenos Aires. So, he, ah. so he, after his um, failed attack, <laughs> I was like, "Can I have my ball back, please?" Well, after making, <laughs> you've made peace immediately after declaring war. Yes. Yes. a common civ strat. <laughs> well, especially with city states. Yeah. How, how did you manage to get all the way over I think, there? Well, because I've got a city here. You can't send them from your. City oh yeah, it's not mature. mature. I'm right. Rome. That's why I could do You're it. You're right. I'm cheating. Cheating oh, boy. I'm gonna do it with. Um, Geneva, then, instead. Is that mature? That's not, none of your cities are mature, Ben. Well, you can always do it with the capital, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to send it. Oh, is it? Well, where else, where else are you going to send a caravan I guess from? so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a very good bonus. It's not a very good bonus, At is the it? start of your turn, you may return one diplomacy card you've taken from oh. another player. So basically, if you trade with another player, you get to take one of their diplomacy cards, mm, which, which is, is quite good, yeah. usually. Things like open borders, hmm. like defensive <laughs> agreements, things like that. I've also just I should have done that with Lewis. <laughs> defensive pact. Yeah, defensive maybe. pact. <laughs> No, oh, so tier one trade can't do this, but tier two, your caravans can move into barbarian spaces. If you move a caravan into a barbarian space, you defeat it without getting oh, nice. a trade. Oh, you got armed, so armed guards. You can send, sense. yeah, so you can uh, wipe out a series of barbarians. Are you trading with that city, by the way, Ben? Oh my yes. god, you can. I trade so, with you Geneva. Can, so you get the two. Oh, I've already done that. So you won't done. get a trade token, but. You can at least eliminate. I can use my caravans to like raid into, like attack barbarians and take their stuff. I can just send like. Sumerians with trade caravans. Yeah. Oh no, you don't gain a trade token. No, no, no. So you just kill it and get rid of it. But, but you still get a resource because of Sumeria. Yeah. <laughs> do I know? <laughs> I don't when know. you defeat a barbarian, it just says when Maybe you defeat I one. Do. I would I would argue that. I don't know, I'm not gonna exploit that game mechanic. <laughs> I'm just gonna attack the barbarian in the normal fashion using yeah, masonry. masonry. It's only got two attack, but I can get that guy's only got one defense. One defense, yeah. so you instantly get it. open. Okay, well that's that's and also I've got second attack, haven't I? <sighs> yeah. So you may as well yeah. try again, aren't I? I don't even think you can Well it was strength two. Yeah, you can if you roll a five. No, I'll attack the city state. Yeah, you could do. Which is That's even tougher. That's an eight. Is yeah. it? So the most you can roll is eight. <laughs> Oh, what's so his city? Six. six currently. Let's attack his city again. <laughs> so Damn it! So what do you need to roll? A five? So he needs to beat a six and he gets plus two to this roll. Uh, is he so a plus two? Because it was masonry was on two. Oh okay, yeah. So I need to roll four. 
Five or five or five six. Or five or six. Yeah. And well, it's, it's yours. Oh. You oh. looked at them the first time. <laughs> yeah, it's a surprise so attack. They thought I was race. attacking the city state. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, actually, it looks really tough. <laughs> <laughs> just turn so is that just destroyed now? No, it's replaced with one of Lewis's. Whoa! Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god. That's. Do you have to build a court? That's very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. If you enjoyed our games on Games Night, you can actually pick them up on the Yorkcast store. There's all the games you played, Camelot, Bang, a bunch of D&D stuff. So go ahead, take a look, maybe buy some Yorkcast t-shirts while you're at it. Thanks for the support. Cheers, guys.